What is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today we have ourselves some more highlight time box as well as uh, 9, no sorry not 9, 12 packs of uh, Footy Stars 2022 to be opening up uh, as per usual on the Saturday mornings. Uh, I love to do stuff like this, it's always a lot of fun. Uh, opening up highlights, I'm doing it uh, as weekly as I possibly can. It's just a cheap little thing I can do, get you guys some interesting content, hopefully we can get some nice pulls. And uh, hopefully by the end of the season have a lot of really, really good cards from the highlight season uh, to add as a full collection. So super exciting stuff. Uh, this one is going to be round three. The highlight for this one being um, the Jordan Dawson game winner, uh, Adelaide versus Port Adelaide. And we also have the Nick Dacos Rising Star nomination, which I've heard has a lot of uh, purchases and a lot of prints. So really, really exciting stuff here. Hopefully we can manage to get ourselves a decently numbered Nick Dacos. I have not seen the 001 yet. I have not seen the jumper number yet anywhere. So, I mean, there's potential. We are getting a black pouch this time. I've gone two reds in a row. So it's nice to see a switch up, which is always good. Let's get into this bad boy. But uh, I'm interested to see what kind of top loader I get. Because last time I got just this massive top loader. I <laughs> couldn't fit either of the cards in. It was very strange, but we'll... Just get straight into this one here. Rip this bad boy open. It is the thick one again. <laughs> I love this one so much. I love how they've just given up on giving us the right top loaders and they've just given us the big thick one. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm hoping that it doesn't result in any damage in the future. But you can see in the background. Oh, one's on the back and one's on the front. Okay, so that's good for me at the very least. We've got ourselves the Jordan Dawson, a match winner. Uh, round three, two goals, 24 disposals. Uh, definitely a highlight of the week. And for some reason, Dacos does not want to come out. Hold up. I'll flip it over this side. There we go. Dacos. Both sides um, are right here. I'm going to quickly put this to the ground and then over. And hopefully, these are both the right side now. Lovely. I don't know the numbers yet, so we're good. But we got... Nick Dacos, and we also have the Jordan Dawson. Put it closer to the table now, so it's not too difficult for me to keep these in frame. But Jordan Dawson highlights Nick Dacos. Definitely going to watch uh, or look at this first one here. Not too many prints from what I've seen, but definitely a nice little highlight to get. Hopefully, we can get a low number. I'm hoping for a low number. We'll see what happens. Oh, Jordan Dawson. Let's see. The match winner, we have got number 113 of 251. So, unfortunately... Like, almost smack dab in the middle. I see we get a lot of middle cards. Like, not on the close end, not on the eBay one of one end, where it's like number 251 or 251. It's always bang right in the middle. It's really annoying. But, you know what, sometimes it's just bound to happen. But we got Jordan Dawson in his only in his only his third game for the Adelaide Crows. The former Sydney Swan became an instant hero at his new club with the best of field performance cap by an after the siren goal to hand the Crows a comeback four-point win. From 45 meters on a tight angle, the left-footed Dawson took the free kick after a teammate, Lockie Murphy, was injured in being illegally tackled by Sam Mays. The showdown medalist booted truly with his game-high 20th kick on the night to trigger a wild scene. So it wasn't just an after-the-goal uh, kick, it was also an all-round performance from Jordan Dawson that capped off a really, really big showdown game. Really exciting stuff, always seeing that Adelaide versus Port Adelaide game. And it always seems to deliver those intra-club matches, oh sorry, those um, in intra-state matches even, are always big. Um, Adelaide versus Port Adelaide, West Coast versus Fremantle, always seems to deliver. I don't know how, but it keeps doing it. But nice little highlight there. And then Nick Dacos, rising star nomination for the, for the, for the third round. Uh, number three is my favorite number. So Nick Dacos uh, being there. He better be good, is <laughs> all I can say. Um, I saw Scory got something, I think it was in the 200s. So if we can get something nicer than that, I'll be pretty happy. Let's flip this bad boy around. It's also in the 200s. We got number 264 of 626. Interesting. Like I said, somehow we keep getting right in the middle. I don't know how we keep managing to do it, but soon enough we will get that really, really nice highlight. I am certain of it, but... The transition from junior football to the AFL has been seamless for the number four pick at last year's NAB AFL draft, who has made a sparkling start to the 2022 season. The silky skilled midfielder had 27 disposals on debut against St Kilda, 22 in round two against the Adelaide Crows, and picked up the round three NAB AFL Rising Star nomination for his 26 disposals and his first career goal in a seesaw and clash with the Geelong Cats. A star has been born. That's a really nice last sentence for a Rising Star nomination card. I like that. It's, it's actually a really dope card. 
would have liked to see a bit lower, but beggars can't be choosers, all right? You gotta, you gotta take what you're given and move on to the next week. But this is super cool. Really, really happy with both these cards. I'm waiting for the day we get a super nice highlight card, like a super low or whatever it may be, highlight card. But nonetheless, cheers for tuning into this first part of the video. Now let's get into the packs. And we are here for the 12 packs of Footy Stars 2022. Regular 12 packs here today. Uh, as usual, we like to do this along with our highlights. So I hope you enjoyed the highlight pulls today. Unfortunately, nothing too great, but uh, with these Footy Stars, or at least talking numbers wise, but uh, with these Footy Stars here today, hopefully we can make up for it. Uh, you know, make up for the lack of high numbers or uh, notable numbers with a notable pull in these packs. We've got 12 here. Uh, count however many you may think it is. Let's hope for a big one today. I'm really hoping for some nice pulls here, but we'll see what happens. Fresh new box. Uh, this one is the first 12 of the box. Uh, as I had mentioned throughout the week leading up to this video, I've been mentioning uh, that I've been trying my best to get my hands on these cards. Uh, I ordered them a week before this video has come out and they didn't show up in time for the video to be released. So we got Bailey Smith to start though, Karen Harrington, Jack Rewalt, Jack Darling, and we're starting this video off with our Luke Bruce uh, Starburst Paint. Nothing crazy to start here, but we'll get used to the one insert packs very, very quickly. I just filmed a um, nine pack opening of Footy Stars Jumbo, so I'm a bit in the Jumbo mood. Uh, jumbo videos do go a little bit longer in terms of the amount of packs, um, or the amount of stuff in packs and how big the packs are. So that may affect how quickly we go through these ones, but if the packs will let me in, that'd be just even better. <laughs> these ones have been a bit tough on me right now, but hoping to get ourselves a good over the box odds hit. Obviously, Virtuoso in the last box was huge. So if we can get something like that hit today, that'd be awesome. Got ourselves Bont though. Shannon Hearn, Buddy Franklin, Emily Bates, and a purple foil. Jake Lloyd, our first purple foil for the video. So uh, hopefully that one is a new one, but we won't know until I go and check the folder. But the good thing about Footy Stars uh, pack openings is that the 12 packs that I usually open uh, is a much better format for myself. I think nine packs works a lot better with Team Coach. It means more Team Coach videos can come out, especially considering Team Coach is much harder to purchase this year than Select. Obviously, Select and Team Coach both ran out last year pretty early on. So I'm hoping that um, both can last a little longer this year. But we've got Dyson Heppel, Liam Jones, Kirsty Lamb, uh, Nick Natanui, and we got ourselves a Game Breakers, looks like. We've got ourselves Isaac Heaney. That's a cool one. That's pretty good. Heaney's playing really, really well this year. So hopefully that is one that is new and we can chuck into the folder. But yeah, um, good thing about this stuff, chucking them into the folder, chucking all the new ones away. Really, really helpful stuff uh, as I have actually organized that. You guys may have seen the album uh, video a while ago. I'm hoping to get a Team Coach one out very, very soon. Obviously, with all the Team Coach reviews, previews, Team Coach opening, stuff like that, I want to try and keep a healthy schedule going for you guys. Make sure that you guys know what's coming, uh, but sometimes it does get a little difficult when things like shipping and scheduling is hard to do with a channel like this, but Shane McAdam, got Hugh McCluggage here, Gary Rowan, uh, Madison Parkers, who I believe now plays for the Bombers, and got ourselves oh, a Hunter Clark uh, paint starburst. So no notable hits so far. Some new inserts, which is all right. Yes, Ash Riddell, I think my favorite player at the moment. Obviously coming from a North there, uh, but Ash Riddell, uh, most disposals in a, um, AFLW game. It's just, it's just classic goat stuff that you like to see from your team. <laughs> We've got Adam Trelaw, Dane Rampey, Nick Veloston, Andrew Gaff, and bang, here we go. We got ourselves a hit. We love to see it. Looks like numbers. Uh, hopefully we can get a look at the, oh, we got Brisbane here. I was going to, I was going to say, I hope we can get a look at the head first, but Brisbane numbers, it looks like, Ma no, it's Zorko. I was going to say McCluggage maybe, but then I started seeing the number. Dane Zorko is not a bad pull. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Daylight, Dane Zorko. We will take it for sure. Nothing behind him. 
uh, as per usual with stuff like this. But I'm pretty sure in regular footy styles packs we see um, second inserts behind sometimes. But let's see what number we get for Dean Zorko. 178 towards the towards the back end of the card. Uh, 178 of 190. So unfortunately. Nothing too notable for the number, but it's good to see him. It's good to see a big hit like that. Dan Zorko especially. That is a huge pull, but nice to see a box hit there. Very, very nice to see a box hit. Uh, hopefully, we can manage to see something even bigger in uh, this pack opening. We'll see what happens, but a box hit is all we need to keep ourselves, uh, you know, on top, feeling happy with how we're going. We've got Ali Anderson, though, to start this one. Tim English. Cam Guthrie. Harry Mackay and Bailey Williams, Starburst Paint. A common one, a common one that I see a lot at the moment, but at least we're getting some new ones. At least we're getting some new ones. I'm pretty sure Heaney's new, so that is actually quite top notch. I'm happy with that for sure, but having to do a whole bunch of different unorthodox ways of opening up these packs. Next one though, Jack Graham, Aaron Phillips, who is now a Port Adelaide girl, Mitch Robinson. Uh, Zach Tui and Mars Notes Hawthorne. It is going to be Jonathan Segler. 100 games. I won't lie. Haven't heard much about him. <laughs> he is. There's always the ones that like you don't hear much about, especially on like the numbers cards. There's a lot of players. Obviously, I've been pretty lucky this year. I've got a lot of notable players so far for my numbers, but there's some that you just wouldn't know, like if you weren't a uh, diehard fan. But nonetheless. Uh, we keep it moving and hopefully we can find ourselves some notable card, notable names more often. But we got ourselves here to start. Uh, a James Rowe, uh, Oscar McInerney, Callum Mills, Dusty, and Purple Foil looks like... Oh, Stephen May. like that. I like myself some, some Melbourne cards. Melbourne is always very, very good. Especially considering right now they're my favourites uh, for the Premiership. They, they're my favourites to go back to back. It, they are such a dominant team. And they're still pretty young. They're still quite young for where most of the talent is. It's just interesting to see what will be the first drop-off for this team, whether it's injuries, whether it's people moving on from the club, which I don't think will be the problem. I think the team is more than secure for the moment. But we've got ourselves Ellie Blackburn here, Jake Stringer, Harris Andrews, Ben Keys, and we got ourselves another purple foil. It is Oscar McInerney. Did we not just get him? Oh, no, we didn't get him in this one. We may have got him quite recently, though. Three packs left. Let's hope to see whether we can find ourselves something nice to finish this one off. If not, we're more than happy with the box hit there. That is beautiful. We're okay with it. We've got ourselves Paddy Dangerfield, Jeremy McGovern, Jack Martin, Kate Luckins, and get ourselves a milestone to Platinum, Robbie Gray. Beautiful. I love the Platinum look of the 250 milestone games. I'm interested, I'm still really interested to see what they do with um, the milestones of 300 and over. I'd like to see them do um, something with Prestige, because I think Prestige has already been confirmed for 2022 footy stars. I'm just interested to see what they do, because obviously milestones are great, but I'd like to see the more major milestones, especially considering Sean Burgoyne last year had 400. So you'd like to see something nice in um, Prestige, maybe. But we'll see what happens. The Platinum look, does look really, really nice on the cards, though. Uh, we go to second last pack, though. Aaron Norton, Shane Edwards, Dylan Shield, Luke Parker, and Game Breakers. And that's a long name. It can only be one guy. Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. I like it. I like it. I will take that one for sure. Um, don't know if I have him. It is one that you think you'd know if you if that you've got if you were to see it because it's a long name. I don't think I have him, which is really, really good. I will gladly um, take the way this pack opening is going. It's been absolutely awesome. Final pack. Let's see what we can do. Maybe something extra nice here. Chelsea Randall, Paddy Cripps, Josh Bruce, Tim Kelly, and it is going to be a John Noble Starburst paint. Lots of Starburst paint in this pack opening, which is okay. It's okay as long as we find our box hit in there. And I'm happy to say that the box hit definitely delivered. A Dane Zorko, number 15. Love that, obviously. Not the actual number of the card, but number of Dane Zorko. Number 178 is the number for the card. So we'll take that. That's a pretty good pack. 
uh, pack opening in general. Looks like a lot of new inserts for myself, which I'm always keen on, but just a beautiful box here too. Numbers Daylight, coming in strong, beautiful looking card. Hopefully, in the next pack opening next week, we can manage to get ourselves something great, including some better highlights numbers, because we're in dire need of a really, really good week. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and be sure to comment down anything you may desire so i appreciate everyone who tunes into these videos thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye